Hello guys, what's up? So today I really want to cover squat for tall guys and because squat is pretty much the most problematic exercise for most taller people and I really want to cover specifically if you have uh, longer femurs what should you focus on and what muscles specifically you should try to work on and as some of you probably already know this uh, that's basically your quads because of the disadvantaged uh, position you are in when you are squatting when you have longer femurs pretty much you're using mostly your hips your lower back your back in general your hamstrings maybe kind of but mostly you're using your posterior chains chain to lift the weight up that's because compared to your torso you have longer femurs when you have longer femurs you are going to be pretty much folded over and what because of that your goal should always be when you're squatting like that uh, because of your you know leverages it's not like you're choosing to squat like that you simply cannot squat anything like you know and uh, you always want to work your quads because your quads are not really being trained properly but you cannot really work your quads with your squat because of your biogenet uh, bio biomechanics and because of that you what you really want to do is try to hit your quads with some other exercises it would be ideal to do it with high bar squat or maybe front squat but front squats if you have longer femurs are probably going to be even more problematic than the back squat in general so these are my suggestions what you could do to really improve your squats if you have longer femurs so any type of machine that really targets your quads so whether it be hack squat some type of leg press like mostly those horizontal leg presses are really good to hit your quadriceps but those machines also are always kind of you know the thick machines are usually have fixed like uh, ranges of motion and you really have to find some uh, machine that is really suitable for you but because you have longer femurs most of the time machines don't really work for you so if that is your scenario where machines doesn't work for you you can try to use smith machine squat so what you want to do with smith machine squat if you have longer femurs is to actually step just a little bit in front in front of the machine not by much just by foot or by this much just so you can feel when you're descending down your quads so you want to feel most of the weight on your quads when you are doing this smith machine uh, like uh, squats what you really want to focus is to be pretty much perfectly straight below the bar so you're just going up and down like this so your quads basically do this so this is your leg let's say and this is your torso so what you want to do is really just like drop down like this so just uh, have your feet just slightly in front of the bar and just to drop down like this so you're really just most mostly i mean your hips your hamstrings your it's they're always working but you want to feel most of the pressure on your quads and because of that as a result through time you are probably going to develop more of your quads and when you do that it should help you with your squat in general because when you have longer femurs you're not training your quads correctly but your quads do are basically a prime mover in the squat through time it should be really beneficial for you so this is something you can try and uh, if you have some type of specialty bar like, like ssb bar you can use also that because that's really good if you don't for some reason if you don't like <laughs> smith machine squat you can lose, use like ssb bar or something like that and just do that and if you are doing this 
I suggest that you do these kinds of squat like on Smith machine or, or hack squat. You can do hack squats or leg presses, it doesn't even matter. The only real point here is th that you are actually lifting the weight with your quads. So that's the only like crucial point here. So that, that you are actually using your quads. And as a cherry on top, you can also do some leg extensions to strengthen your quads. I would suggest to do leg extensions in the higher rep ranges because it doesn't really make any sense in my opinion to do leg extensions lower than 12 uh, reps because you are just going to mostly feel them in your uh, in your knees <laughs> not on your quads so 12 to 20 reps on leg extensions are really good they should work really well uh, you can pretty much throw them in your training whenever you want uh, ideally it would be on this day when you're really focusing on quads with smith machine squat or hack squat or leg press one of those three and on top of that you can do like leg extensions and that should be a really good like quad builder for you if you have longer femurs so that's it that's just one tip i mean you can do this from many different angles it doesn't really matter you know as americans say or british english something like that there are many ways to skin the cat it's kind of weird expression weird expression but you know this is what it is and uh, yeah so that's just one tip hope it helps so if you are going to do this you have to do this more of i mean you have to do it for a longer period of time it's, it, it's not enough if you do it just two two weeks and that's it like now your squat is fixed no you have to do it like at least for six months to see what happens and considering also that you have you know all of your recovery modalities uh, your nutrition you know you're sleeping well you are kind of game taining let's say or bulking you know it should work so I hope you liked this tip and uh, if you did please please like the video subscribe uh, you can also check out my web website uh, I have a just a free uh, PDF uh, pre pretty much a free training program on my website and uh, I'm going to release a newer version of it pretty soon as soon as I finish it and yeah that's pretty much it so like subscribe check out my website Peace.